is AMC 8, question 25. Makila finds all the possible ways to draw a path in a 5x5 five five diamond shaped grid. Each path starts at the bottom of the grid and ends at the top, always moving one unit northeast, or I would be making it easier, moving to the left or northwest moving to the east actually moving to the right so actually northeast is right northwest is left so you're either moving to the right or moving to the left and you cannot go back so you compute the area of the region between each path and the right side of the grid two examples are shown in the figure below just to make sure we understand this question so here's a path and in the right side of the path, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. So the area for this graph is 11. And same thing, this one is five plus eight, 13. Now this question is saying, if you take all the possible path and the corresponding areas, what is the sum of all those areas? This is a pretty good, 25 for AMC 8. It actually has two parts, and those two parts I want to sort of talk about them separately. The first part you need to figure out is how many ways can we do this? So the first part is how many paths work? A very nicely designed question for counting. So this question, finally, we get a counting question in the last five of AMC 8. Counting question. You need to count how many ways can you do something. And for this question, for every path, what is the set? Well, you need to start from here and you need to keep moving. And if you check the first one, I move to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I moved ten steps. And if you look at the second one, it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not only it's all ten steps. Given how you move from the beginning to the end, you have to move five steps to the left and five steps to the right and as long as you make five steps to the left five steps to the right it's going to work so we can now turn this path question to a counting question which is i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i have ten steps and I need to pick five of them to be left. The remaining five will be right. And how many ways can I do it? Well, that's a standard. And choose five. Let's see. So again, just to remind, 5C10 means from 10 things, I'm picking five and order does not matter because you just need to pick five positions to be left and the remaining will be right. And to find C105 is going to be 10 factorial over five factorial times five factorial with the right equation here. And choose K is N factorial divided by K factorial and minus K factorial. So that's the equation for combination. Factorial here means start from, for example, 10 factorial means 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So start from 10, multiply every number until you reach 1. Same for 5. And if you do this calculation, you will be able to find. And actually, let's see, you know, your real exam. How do you do this calculation? You try to cancel things. So this is 10, 9, 8, 7. 6 divided by 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You may notice that 
I removed five factorial and I also stopped this one at six because after six, it's another factorial. So you can imagine this is times five factorial. Here's a five factorial. They cancel each other. Okay. Now let's try to cancel a few more numbers. Six will cancel with three and two. And four and eight, you'll get a two left. Five and 10, you'll get a two left. So this is going to be four times nine times seven, which is two, five, two. All right, so I know there are 252 paths. That's not the end of the question because now I need to figure out the total area. So the sum of all those areas. And the area could be zero. If I have a pass like this, and it can also be 25 of a pass like this. And the really interesting part of this question is this. I want you to visualize it. Take this example where area is 13. Okay. If you flip this picture from left to right, so just flip it horizontally. I'll try to draw it out. But I want you to visualize this in your mind. All right, this is five by five. Flip it, which means you find the exact inverse of what you did. Anytime you move to the left, you actually change to the right. So actually you did this here and then here. All right, so that's the part where I just flip it. Okay. So visualize it, it's actually not very easy to draw, you need to think through it, but the key thing is you move to right because this one moved to left. This is literally just flip it over. And why is this interesting? It's because if I flip it over, before my area is 13, and now my area is going to be four. Now what's the special relationship between 13 and 12? Well, their sum is 25, which makes a lot of sense because when you flip it, what used to be in the right side of the path becomes on the left side. And what used to be on the left side moved to the right side. So basically what gets cut off now becomes what you have. And for every path, you can find such a pair. So those two is a pair because you take this one, take the top one, slip it from left to right, you get a bottom one. So that's a pair and each pair, the sum of the area is 25. So how do you find the total area? Well, I have two, five, two over two pairs because each two of them is a pair. And for each pair, my total area is 25. And now if you do this calculation, you can find the final answer is three, one, five, zero. Answer is B. It's a really good question 25 for AMC8 because technically it has two parts. The first part 
is a good number theory question or good combination question where you need to turn this path into a combination. I'm actually picking five position or five steps to be left out of my 10 potential steps. The second part is a smart way to find pairs for each possibility. And their sum is 25.